Hey guys, welcome to the FVD++ tutorial. I'm just going to be going over some basics since a lot of you, well, a lot of you want a video tutorial, so I decided I would step up to the plate. So here, here we are, we opened up FVD++. This is what you'll see. We've got our 3D grid, whatever you want to call it, our visual window over here. We've got graphs on the bottom. Those will be pretty important as we go further into the tutorial. And we have our anchor node right here. Your anchor node is just like the starting position, just same thing in the elements editor. But we can change our friction value, heart line, speed, lateral force, normal force, pitch, yaw, and our position in 3D space. So that's the anchor node. Um, so to get started, you're just going to want to add, maybe you want to add your station, you can do that. You can just right click over here and just click add straight section. And as you can see, we now have a straight section over here and we can just can change the heart length, which is, I believe, in meters. So yeah, you can change that 25, whatever you want to change it to, it doesn't matter. And then you can change your speed, which should be in meters per second. So, yeah. So you can just right click and remove that section if you don't want to use it. Uh, you also have curved sections, which is exactly what they sound like is a curved section where you hit the drop down. We have our total angle, which is just the amount you'll actually turn. If you go to 45, you'll see. Uh, you also have this direction, which is basically left, right, up, down. And do negative 90. Oops, that didn't work. Oh. There. Negative 90 to go the other way. You do 180 to go down. Zero to go up. And 90 goes left. You have your lead in, which just basically makes a transition into the actual turn. I guess that's one way to explain it. Is I guess if you have zero for your lead in and lead out, you'll notice there's no like transition. It just goes straight into the turn. And then you have your radius, which is also in meters. It's not a random number. It's, you can see each one of these lines is 10 meters. So you can see, yeah, with a radius of 10 meters, I go straight from corner to corner. So yeah, so that's curved sections. I mean, I have four sections, which is probably what a lot of you will be using for the majority of your ride. This allows us to manipulate the vertical force, lateral force, and our roll per second. That makes sense. Um, so obviously vertical G's. That's oops. you can you can just use your uh, scroll on your mouse to change the value of that. This is how long it's the duration of the transition is. You can say I want to go to, to two G's. I'll add one G over one second. You can see how that changes the track right there. Um, then we have our lateral G force. Same thing. You can just add lateral G's and we'll start to go to the side. Then we have our roll per second. This is really cool. You can just go up, just do 50, and yeah. So that's four sec sections. Oh, and how you uh, add a section afterward. A lot of people had questions about that. You can just right click on the graph and hit append transition, and yeah, and you can add more stuff like that. So that's four sections. And then the last section we have is geometric section. And this is a lot like the force section, only instead of um, normal force and lateral force, we have pitch and yaw. So you'll be controlling it that way instead. It's just pitch is exactly like your vertical G forces. You can just, just the degrees per second, you're going up or down. 
and then for yaw, that's just degrees per second, left per right, left and right. Um, yeah, just stuff like that. Then we, this the geometric section, or geo, yeah, geometric section also has rule change as well, so you can do stuff with that. So. Oh yeah, you can also prepend on the first segment, which is just to put one before it. That's something you can do. And you'll notice that I've got a lot of stuff going on over here, but only a tiny segment. That's because this black bar right here, um, well I guess that doesn't matter, but on our yaw, we end earlier than everything else, so in order to see the rest of the track, we have to go farther out to see it all. So yeah, there's that. Maybe like the entrance to some kind of corkscrew or something. So yeah, that is the basic tutorial for FPD++.